She ain't got that fake shit. You know what I'm saying? She really bust the fuck down from Ice Champ. Yeah, like I thought you got, we both got APs on right now, you feel me? So I got the, I got the big boy on, but yeah, her AP, her AP. My, my, I got the skeletons on. Yeah, she got the AP, you feel me? What's, what's in your neck? I ain't got my neck. Yeah, because I told you don't put that shit on today. Somebody just told me you'll come in, girl, go work. Let me tell you something. Yo, see, look, I thought you said you'd be being positive. Why you read that all the time? And let me pull my mouth. No, no, nah, nah, I thought we'd be being positive. Why you read that coming? I know, you, I know, I know. I just want to say something. Nah, you don't got to say nothing to her. Let me tell you something, ma'am. To the person that told me, girl, go work, let me tell you something. In my company, I'm the worker and I'm the boss. I'm the CEO, the worker, the boss, whatever you want me to do. I'm going to sweep the floors. I'm going to wipe the windows. Anything that's bringing me millions a month. Hello. Ooh, I might be outside with a towel, <laughs> washing the ground out with a towel. Well, see, that's what people don't understand. Like, so when you tell me, girl, go work, let me tell you something. Don't let this motherfucking uniform fool you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Do I need to bring the, the white shirt out or something? Do I need a here. white one? I'm trying to match my team. I want to wear black like my team. So y'all can't tell who the boss is. I ain't the type of person that I got to walk in here with a, my a, a blazer on. I actually like the fact that she works. I want to match my team. I want to wear black like them. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? I ain't trying to single myself out. Oh, that's the boss. Oh, that's the boss. It don't matter no. who the boss is. Let me look just like my team. Team, my team, team, team and my dream dream right. up shirt. So when you say girl go work, I took that, you know, that's kind of offensive. Like, come on now. That's offensive. It's oh, like, just like me telling you, girl, go be a boss. So she probably not, on, and don't know man. how to go. She don't know how to do that I'm now. So out of ten, but anyways, but now like real bosses will never. See, we... I get paid millions for scooping ice cream. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna go scoop some more. <laughs> Hands red as fuck. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, boys, I'm gonna go make some videos. Okay, me and all ice cream. No, go with that. I'm gonna be all out here doing TikTok videos. I hey, know we need to hey. do. We need to be doing for real, for real. That dude that. That. We need to make some content on TikTok other than that bitch working. You know what I'm My TikTok page, I was waiting on the name to change, but I think they changed now. Nah, we gotta days. do some content. I ain't Hold even on, think I'm about that. We minute. really do need to do that. Some TikTok content yeah. and I bet that working. We had a whole lot of content on this weekend, though. I ain't even got to it. Well, yeah, pass, pass. Okay, me too. I we'll need to drive my we damn go, short. We gotta go to Atlanta this week. I got then we weeks go to New York next week. Then we go out of the country. We gone. We're on vacation. And I'm being, I'm being out the country two weeks, and you ain't going live now one time we out the country. I can't go live on one side of the country? I don't know. No. Why, baby? No. I, I like to bring my people on experiences with me sometimes. I don't be on that long, that long about the country. I just go on there, you know what I'm saying? I just show them a little something. how are you? I just, I just show them a... You can't stand the steady for... I can't go live out the country. Is, is that my wife makes an amazing peach cobbler. <laughs> She'll make this peach cobbler. Anyways. But yeah, man. What I was going to say. I was going to say something right before she came out. Dead ass. I swear I was going to say something before she came out. I forgot. I ain't going to hold y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. I know y'all probably like, God damn it, we were core was on the ball. But that's my that motivation, though. You know what I'm saying? Like This, this is what it's all about in real life. You know? A nigga happy, bro. Don't think I'm, don't think I'm hurt. I don't think I'm sad. None of that shit. I'm, 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 I'm blessed. Put it like that. You know, I'm thankful for everything that God has brought my way. Now, when it come down to a lot of my actions, you feel me? I will just be under with y'all. Sometimes, you know, my Gemini side kick in. That little nigga that he get he, when, when y'all fuck with him. When, when CJ get activated, see this Corey y'all talking to. Corey is Corey. Told y'all. But when that nigga CJ get activated, I just told y'all that. <laughs> you had to do something to piss him off. That nigga ruthless, you know he you feel me? Like he 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 react first and think after. <laughs> and I be working on him a lot, you feel me? I'm like man, god damn. Like, I I promise y'all, y'all might think I'm lying to y'all. Like boy, that dude that dude react first and think after. And that ain't a good trait, you know what I'm saying? And so you know I always have to go back and double back and be like, yeah, boy, you were tripping, boy. Like what's wrong with you? And it wasn't me, you feel me? My heart pure, I'm kind. Like, shit don't bother me. Sometimes CJ get activated, though, because people be playing on his top, and he don't like that. You know what I'm saying? And he be like, hold on, he got me messed up. But anyways, back to the motivation, though. Back to, um, back to, uh, you know, telling y'all what y'all need to hear, man, what matters the most. Raheem Austin, y'all see my, that my cousin right there, that who do my tattoos, he did my tattoos. 
You know what I'm saying? He did my tattoos with my, I got pants on right now. You can't even see what I got on. If I match my girl, I had to support my girl. I didn't put no orange shirt on today, so what I did was I support my woman every way I can. That nigga went and put on some orange socks for her. I said, you know what? I might don't got on no shirt today, but I'm going to make sure they see them socks. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. That girl said, I sound like a cornball. Well, you need you need you need to, you need to be telling your son to go be a cornball. That boy or, was or, hot right now. You know what I'm saying? Your your next your your child your your brother your cousin somebody. He couldn't even get it. You probably could change your damn life. You need to you, 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 you need to. You, you know what's so funny? I'm gonna tell y'all something. Y'all know how a lot of the people that be gangsters and shit got to be taken care of, but all the time. They on the tough when it comes out of negativity. But when it comes down to being a business owner or some shit, they can't tell you nothing. They can't help you out. Y'all, he went across the street to firehouse today. I don't know. Y'all gotta understand, y'all talking to the mega troller right now. Yeah, they ain't gonna let me. Y'all see it for y'all self. The, 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 the proof is in the pudding. You can't fuck with me. You can't fuck with me in my game. This is my game. This is my rear. I've been in this shit for too long. You talk to the, a mastermind he troller. He had no choice. A mastermind <laughs> controlling the crowd and controlling the narrative and pushing the way he wanted to go. I don't give a, I'm gonna make you think what I want you to think, regardless. I'll make you say, well, you, you think I'm a cornball? God damn it. Yeah, he'll cornball. I'm gonna I'm play with that on your top. Let me get a bag off it, too. You think I'm lame? I'm going to play lame. God damn it. Oh, he lame. I'm going to play lame because I got your attention. I had to be lame to get your attention. Hell yeah, let's do it. Let's go for it. Like, this is a you know what I'm saying? Person from you, the other guy you want to come at me with something? I'm going to take that and I'm going to turn it into mine. He be mad you try to hell. play with me, but not for to play with you. You can't beat me at my game. That's how I get y'all attention. I win. You lose. <laughs> Regardless. You know what I'm saying? Then if you meet me in person, I'm going to teach you how to do it. But... You can lead a horse to the water, but you can't make him drink it. Remember that. Man, that's a fact. My tattoo man, my tattoo man located in Auburn, Alabama, but he does travel. And he also been in Atlanta a lot. Yeah. It's my birthday. Moo Moo Minifield, happy birthday. You know what I'm saying? I hope you enjoy it, you know? Yeah, I wish you many more. 1,000%. Say happy birthday, Mimi me, me, Minifield. Happy birthday, Mimi Minifield. Right, Hello, honey. Welcome I think it was Moomoo. There you go. Corey, I'm so pr I'm proud of you, bro. Appreciate you. Okay, listen, babe. Look, I've been here three days. What, babe? Frisco store is the number one store. Oh, yeah. Shout out to shout out to my woman, y'all. She just opened her store, what, two days ago? She yeah, opened her store two days talking. ago. And became the number one selling store, number one store already. I have a major deal with the company. Come on, you ain't announced my deal yet. I mean, sometimes. Some, nah, me some, so yeah, she getting two percent of the whole company, which is this shit is all. It's, it's this is the hundred store. Yep. So she's gonna be getting two percent out of every store. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Like I love it. I'm so proud and, of her. Uh, Damn. We're number one. We got a steady flow. Thank you, honey. We got a steady flow here. I've been here three days. I've been grounding myself here three days, y'all. I've been running the register. I've been mm -hmm. scooping a cobbler. I've been making mm -hmm. the cobbler, making a banana the cobbler, making a. Uh, get your hand up. You lying? <laughs> <laughs> You're lying. <laughs> you, why are you here lying at all like that? I'm not, I'm just saying, listen to you, I'm like, hold on now. Because I was the one back there, we back there scooping ice cream and, and, and padding out the orders, using the front, just looking cute and shit. Now, you taking orders and stuff, and like, hey, Why are you doing John, me like that? here's your order. Why did you do me like that? I, I was really popping it. A cabin. Yeah, I was making a I, I, I'm making, I'm making this, I'm making that, I'm making this. I was putting the this. toppings on the cookies and Girl, stuff. Girl, stop. It was three days, so I'm really ready to go. I'm ready to go get back to my house. Um, we gotta get in the pool before we leave. I don't want to get in the pool. Why not? Because the last time I got in the pool. I just want to go home. So you didn't have sure. fun the last time you was in the pool? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have fun the last time you was in the pool? You don't give a fuck what you say, man. It's just, I just asked the question. Yeah, I you tell her no, so they probably the did it in the pool. We're going to get in the pool, but I got to get back in my routine. I've been down here too. What? Much. I'm ready to go. I'm with you. She ready, ready to go, go too. Well, as soon as you say let go, we going. Okay, so we finna get. Uh, I already been your motherfucking driver. But guess what though? I have a. And everything a else. Tomorrow. Oh my, no. I, so you think, ho, 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 ho. So you think we finna go back to Houston and yeah. come back here in the morning for your Ribbon Cut? The Ribbon Cut is at 2 though. So I gotta drive up here again. You driving, Marcel? What do you driving? I'm not driving. I will never drive. No, yes, you do okay, drive. Well, you will drive. You gonna get a driver. Ah! See, you too rich for me. 
You too rich for me, bro. You, you see me? I'm, I'm, I'm wealthy, but it's like I, I still do this. This. Shit. I would have said bet. I don't want to drive anyway. Louis Vuitton store, right? Shout out to baby girl, cause she bought me some. She look, she bought me these Louis Vuitton shoes. You we feel knew what that. Saying? We knew like, that. She, she wanted the match shoes, so she bought me some shoes, right? I said, All right. I said, baby, cause I tried to tell her I don't need that. I got shoes at home. Mm -hmm. I'm telling her like, I don't need. You don't need. I need your stuff. I wanted to buy you some. No, but listen. So listen. So she say, I want this purse. I'm like, no, you don't need that purse. She got a thousand purses in her closet, y'all. That ass. She got more purses and heels than anything. She got Birkin bags, all type of shit, Chanel bags, she got everything. I'm like, no, Danny, <laughs> you got a real nigga around you right now. I'm not gonna let you buy that shit. You don't need it. You doing about cause you up here. So here's my thing. What's the difference of you buying it for me versus me buying it myself? So you, you don't, don't me two gifts. You don't need it First though. First time you done see me ten thousand dollars, then you see me another. No, 10. listen, no, let me talk. So I can't buy let me you talk. No shoes. Let me talk. Now it ain't about me. It's about you. I told her, I said, you don't need that purse. While we get to the restaurant yesterday, while her friend, her friend, she sent her friend to the motherfucking mall and made her friend go buy the Louis Vuitton purse. It'd be like $2,000. Oh, she rich. Which ain't that much money, but it's, it's the case. She a different type of rich. Hey, she, I, listen, I also she have- She wanted a, that bag too bad. Well, over the limit. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, she tried to buy the shoes and the purse, the car to climb. I was like, yes, and we're over the limit. Baby, so, that one gonna stop me. Listen. See, I was gonna go back and get that purse the next day. I got, I got a ten thousand dollar daily limit. I don't know why Regis do and it. And like this that. motherfucker has spent ten thousand dollars a day. I can't hold you. Listen, y'all. I said my friend. I said friend, go give me that purse. And, and the I'm, girl come to pay you. The girl, you know what's so funny? Look, like, just so y'all can see how serious this shit is. We can't make this shit up. You, you got the purse, you didn't even open it up yet. That way, that way it blows me with you. Let's see the purse, Gordon. Look. Hey, I'm gonna wear it. Bro, you is annoying, bro. I'm gonna wear it at the country. Bro, you got a thousand black. Let me see what's up. Let me see this shit. Man, look, look at this. Look at this crazy on me. She ain't even take the damn purse out the bag yet. That purse is so cute. I bet every female on your live. That's a cute little purse. That is a cute little purse. Bro, you is a character, babe. You's a character, man. You gotta stop your shit. Anyway, but yeah, man, put it back in there. I was so upset. Louis Vuitton, I took, luggage I said, in the back. So you went and got that goddamn purse, and I told you, good, don't get it. Anyways. So yeah, this what type of woman I got on my hands. Huh? And now she got a, now she got a, what, what kind of purse is that? What? Goyard. Goyard. Yeah. You just, you, you just. Nah, he you didn't hell. know what, what type of bag that yeah, was. Yeah, boy. I don't know what I'm gonna do with you. I thought I was bad. I thought my shopping, I thought my shopping shit was bad. Her? Nah, she got me beat. It always be the women though. Come on, get out of there. You ready to go? I'm waiting on you. Okay. Whenever you ready. Already trying to control her. They already oh, trying to control each other. Yeah. You you heard her say, when we go out of town, you ain't gonna go live. He got to. First of all, that's how he making his money right now. That's number one. But number two, he want everybody to know where he at. Wednesday. We gotta be in Atlanta Wednesday, 27. My how, long, how long we gotta stay in Atlanta? Three days. Oh my god. Oh. Well, not really, I don't think. Hey, honey, welcome in. Oh. She thought you were close. <laughs> no. Put in the track. You put it in the track. I gotta grab this sandwich. Oh my god. Come on, put in the track. I'm walking around. Yeah, you can't help. Versa. I know you ain't calling about a verse. Look, she <laughs> got that bag, wasn't even thinking about showing the bag. Right <laughs> What I do with my other phone? I ain't gonna lie though, y'all. I like them together. <laughs> so you see I like them together. Y'all remember that happened with Chris and, uh, what you call it? The camera dirty. Chris and what the fuck? What's up? What's up, girl? Name? Tenor. Chris and. The go guys. Yeah, I wash our hands real quick. Chris and. Really? You gonna show my thing? What's her name? Oh, no. Wait. Who? Leslie. Chris and Leslie. Yeah. I'm gonna talk. <laughs> I can't hear you. That's what it is. Let him talk. Wow. What paper time is it? I'll bet they're I'll bet they're getting it in. Show the beard and it looks so nice. I'm gonna show y'all real quick. Give me a second. Keep going. Keep. No, yeah, no, you can go with your mother. Go with your mother. 
Uh, He's gonna wanna leave. I love you, man. What you say? All right, y'all, yeah, we're ready to roll. Love you, man. Tell us what's up. This is like one of the best teams out of came and seen so far, man, to cut out to get this restaurant going, man. Later. Tell them, boy, you better get in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All piece. hard work. Yeah, a lot of hard work. Hard work make you live life that you desire. Yeah, right? uh, see? Oh. All right, brother, we think you're ready to roll. Leslie and Chris, I was like, oh, my God, they are a different type of messy, but I was here for it. Then they started doing shit. Chris was love bombing the shit out of her. We didn't know the definition until Armand love bomb resonate. But it was just like, oh my God, this is so cute. And then he just blew it like he just blow everything else. <laughs> he blew it. I actually her gave huge. a blue box away already. Uh, I get a blue box away before I actually went to Miami. I get a blue box away sometime last year. I gave away 25 calls so far for the people that don't know. Hopefully, people that don't, know. don't mess this up. I sure ain't know. You ain't know? Oh, I man. Oh, it's giving call on her, baby. I got a call like her giving away calls. Yeah. She's about to say, where's the, uh, where's the advice the right on the that wants to start their own business? Um, get into the uh, to that real, that space, understand only franchises. And uh, if you want to do franchise on your own business, it's all about starting your LLC. You know what I'm saying? It was, friend. And um, build your credit up. Get your credit as high as you can. Baby. Because what you're going to do is instead of you baby. trying to save up a lot of money to start your own business, you go build your credit. And once you build your credit, now you got a leverage. You can go to the bank and you can go get however much you're going to take to start your business. You feel me? Because it takes money to make money. So now that the bank see that they trust you because your credit is good, you can save your money, your capital, put your money up, and you can actually invest that money somewhere else also. And while you take the bank money and you go get one of these right here, or you start your own business up, you feel me? Now the money that's gonna, that the, the, you gonna make off the business is gonna pay the bank back. And then now everything else that's coming in is capital. You feel me? Like, it's all going to you. Huh? Factual. Okay, bet. That's that's my advice for you, you know what I'm saying? If you want to start Joe, yeah, she from New Orleans. Yeah, she from the Louisiana, New Orleans. Yeah, I love, I love the accent, y'all. I don't like how she. But um, for yeah, that that, that that's that. how you actually start your business. I agree. And, and you know, on top but of that, you feel me? Probably Let me give you some more advice so on how to do it. It's messy. What he's doing right now is messy. Best way to do it is to team up with other people. All right. You got now she gonna have to show him or, or, or put some money behind him. Good. My credit good, right? And we both got the same mentality. We both want to get in the same business, right? So you know what I'm saying. Instead she gonna put him on some money. Right now, she got to do her tax tour. She got the store up and running. Then he next. Million dollar loan. He she want him to chill right now. A million dollars right now. Y'all got a million dollars just off credit. A million dollars that you didn't have to take out your bank account. He got an interview for something with music, though. He's doing something with music. Y'all go bust it down. Y'all go take... Y'all gonna take two hundred fifty thousand dollars, get y'all location. Y'all gonna put another two hundred fifty thousand dollars in goddamn products and shit like that. You feel me? And the other money, you feel me? Shit, you can invest that somewhere else in that shit. So now you got your whole business set up off the bank money. And the only thing you gotta do is, if your credit good, you go get a low interest rate. You feel what I'm saying? Percentage. And so that's for now, you don't gotta pay that much back. So everything that you gotta pay back, your company gonna be paying it back. You don't gotta pay it out your own pocket. And stop fucking with me, man. I put y'all on some game, change our life for real, for real. If you actually listen to a nigga, but you know. I don't have to talk all that because it costs. The game is to be the, 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 the hey look, it, it costs for the game, man. Dead ass. I'm gonna hit giving y'all this free game, man. That's a fact. If, it, if a nigga don't pay, they run off with your with your juice. And all y'all can run do it. Either one of y'all can do it. I don't ever think you can't do it. I don't give a fuck if you got bad credit right now. You can start it with bad credit. You run feel me? Because juice, you gotta just, you gotta do it, build it up. Kids Get your credit right fixed, man. Facts. Stop wasting y'all damn time, bro. A lot of y'all sending y'all ass because y'all too lazy, bro. Like, stop being lazy. This shit out here on the floor for everybody to eat. But a lot of y'all so lazy, y'all mad at the ones who out there on the floor getting that shit in it. Because you sit on the sideline. You on the, you on the court. You, you, you on the sideline watching the ones who on the court. And you don't understand how they doing it because like the you're too you lazy to find out. Shoes. That's the way we live in, though. We live in a real world. A lot of people sit on the sideline because they too lazy to actually got their ass to go do it. And they just the ones who actually get out there doing it. Why you ain't doing it? Because if you was out there doing it, you wouldn't be sitting on the sideline hanging on the other one that's doing it. Straight up. Man, you think this shit hard to get? Hell no, nah, that shit ain't hard to get. Uh, man, you can lick me, bro. I'm telling y'all, bro. Hey, too much game will change your life. Once he got that game, he started giving it to us. Facts, I always spread the game because let me tell y'all something about me. I ain't no gatekeeper. You know what I'm saying? The reason why I'm so successful is because 
What you eat don't make me shit. Because I got the game already, so I'm going to make sure I eat regardless. Me telling you the game ain't going to stop me from eating. I want to see you eat. You feel me? You're straight up. But shit, like I say, you can lead a horse to the water, but you can't make him drink it. 1,000%. You feel me? That just, that just straight up. And we live, in, we live in the real world. I agree with everything he's saying, but it's going to come at a cost for so many reasons. <laughs> How the fuck I'm going to do that? You might think I'm going to pick you up and get your hands and, and get in your brain and actually make you do what you want to do. I, huh? I can... <laughs> <laughs> now you gotta work for that You know what I'm saying like, It's up to you Pick Yo, up these books How far is Dallas You feel Houston? me Get around other people Get the game You know what I'm saying You can save yourself a lot of time man. You just get around people That actually know What you trying to figure out So learn as you go And let them give you A lot of the game And give you the shortcut It's always a shortcut to success Four I'm hours. telling you It's a such thing A shortcut to success like if I want to build a popcorn restaurant, whatever the fuck that is right there, I'm going to go over there and try to link up with the popcorn restaurant owner or somebody else that got them doing it. It's straight up. See, a lot of y'all try to take the hard route out because you don't know, understand how, bro, it ain't nothing, ain't, it ain't nothing wrong with having mentors, bro. Ain't nothing wrong with linking with somebody that no paying for the game, bro. Somebody said $500 too much to actually learn how to build a tax company. $500, that's too much money. So $500 too much money for you to make $100,000 a month, huh? Huh? So you, you can't scrape up $500 so you can learn how to make six figures a month, huh? You folks crazy as hell, bro. You gonna forever be in poverty with that mentality. I'm gonna tell you that now. You right. Ah, right, listen, listen. I don't give a fuck. If a nigga can show me how to make $100,000, i am going to go, I'm gonna go scrape up $10,000. Here you go. Here go you 10 bands. I'm gonna get it to you. I'm gonna get it to you half of the smile of my ass off. Cause if it gonna take me 10000 to go get this game for the nigga so I can make <laughs> uh, half a million, nigga, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna give them to him. It take money to make money. That's how most of these people become successful, bro. Because they take a lot of money and they go pay somebody that they know for a fact that I can get guaranteed game you from, and I'll class? make that shit back triple the amount and continue to let it flow. Oh, what Straight he's up. saying. Let me yeah, tell y'all something. Trying to get y'all the juke. Let me tell you one of the best investments that I made real quick. I'm gonna fuck y'all head up right now. One of the best investments that I made back in 2006, 17. Queen Naja. Shout out to Queen Naja. Even I know she for the girls, it's all good. Ain't, ain't nothing wrong with that. Girls go always go for the girls. But shout out to Queen Naja because let me tell you something. I'm the one that was talking to Queen Naja in 2017. I was the one. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all don't understand, man. Like, a lot, all that shit that y'all see, but y'all don't know that. Corey behind that shit. I saw Queen doing a, give a, 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 a promo back in 2017, right? This was before they got real big. But I caught them at the right time. She said, I'm doing a promo right now. That me on YouTube. Yes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, man, go ahead, pull over. Well, hold up. Are, are you going to hear me, dog? But I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to tell y'all one of the, the best investments I made. Queen Naja was doing a, a promo, right? And she charged $50. She said $50 for a promo. I'm going to be real with y'all on some real nigga shit, but I was at the, I was at the Hyundai plant. I was working at uh, the Hyundai plant. What's going on, boss, man? man what's up with you, bro? Hey, man, I'm glad I see hey, you. Hey, I'm look, so I'm ready. Take a picture with the, bro, uh, with take the, the dude picture and quit something. Corey SSG. Tell, tell Jimmy that I'm finna send it to him. You make your son happy, man. I'm finna send it he to y'all. Hold on. He asked for promo. <laughs> promo. Bro, I, was just, I was just watching a video of you early, bro. Right, uh, yeah, I've been on the internet going crazy for the last past two weeks, man. I've been having this in the chokehold. Yeah, hey, uh, the one I watched. Oh, you good, you good, you good, you good. Thank you, man. Love it by the, by the, by the girl. Oh, yeah, man. There's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of drum out there yeah, right I, now, bro. I, I, like, I like, see, I, if, that, if that where bro going is, he yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, listen, I be trolling the internet so weird, man. One thing about it is my real, bro. So I make no think whatever. Hey, I like, you. I like your spot, too, bro. Appreciate it. Uh, uh, all them calls and shit. I be taking your shit out, man. Man, I'm out here, man. Got it. Got it, bro. Motherfucking screen, so messed up. Shit, but you at rip right now, man. man. You, you trying doing, to get that bread, though. You ain't trying, you doing it. Take that try to vocabulary, bro. Hey, that's a bit. Oh, All right, really, man. Hey, hey, I appreciate like that. Well, bro. Nice to meet you, man. Hey, same team, bro. Take care. Yes, sir, brother. All right, so, um, but yeah, I had paid Queen $50. I didn't even oh, have. Hey, hey. Like, $50 was a lot of money to me at the time. I can't even sit here and cap y'all out, my nigga. I'm like, what you mean? You helped Like, so what I did was, I told her, I said, all right, say this. I'm going to, um, I'm going to pay you when we get paid or whatever, right? And then I asked her, like, how, how much for a promo? Blase, blase. So I paid her the $50 for the promo, right? 
Let me tell y'all something, bro. In 30 minutes, she had up on her page for 30 minutes, bro. I went from 3,000 followers on Instagram to like 30 some thousand followers in 30 minutes. No bullshit, you. Listen, we gained, and I, I knew, I'm a marketing king. 30 something thousand from a picture? I will say, I went from 8K subscribers to 100. <laughs> Shout out to Queen. <laughs> I'm it. And listen. With Clarence, I went from like 3,000 followers on Instagram. Oh, he right. I went from 3,000 to 27,000. So yeah, he right. Not in 30 minutes. It was about, he kind of correct. It was probably about, about a day. I wasn't even mad because I still got what we won. I ain't paid for and shit. And so what I did was I took that and I, you know, God I maximized great. off that. And um, that was like in the beginning, you know what I'm saying? When I did the promo on, on Instagram, bro. So. Just to show you, man, always invest in yourself. Yes, sir. Hey, I got to answer that radio shack. All right. Yes, sir. So you blessed, right? Yeah, I'm very blessed. You giving out blessings? I always give out blessings. I'm giving out blessings right now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, just thank you. That's it. <laughs> man, thank you. No, I mean. Oh, God. Did you say a blessing for me? Thank you. Yeah, thank you. For all these, for all the days. <laughs> all the time, Always, all the, man. All the time I didn't earn. Hey, man, listen, when you're here, you got another opportunity to earn. Corey with a C. Yes, sir, that's me. Life of Corey said G. Nice to meet you, big dog. You must so, work now. <laughs> I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to promote with Trey behind. <laughs> huh? Just say you're trying to promote me, because I don't like that sign right there. That was a beauty. Uh -uh. You know, bro, one thing I laugh at on the internet, everybody be trying to call me gay. I be like to myself, I be like, bro, these motherfuckers hate me so goddamn bad, but they just try to find every goddamn way to talk about me. Yeah, one thing I know, he ain't gay. I, I like that he's intact with his sexuality, though. I don't think he's gay at all. I be like, but these motherfuckers really be friends about top. Not even a little bit. No, no, nobody say two, that two, he's bothered me, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know who you is, them, ten, four, them, eight, them, them feet ten toes, my boy. Them feet ten toes, my boy. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to entertain the bullshit, but yeah, I ain't like with that sign that you there. You know what I'm saying? You trying, you trying to get a promo with my behind. What that mean? You just say you trying to do a promo with me. That, 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 that made me feel a little better. And I'm going to tell you to, to, to hit the DM. Hey, listen, I'm going to tell you something else I just did today, right? No, no bullshit. Oh, my phone there. My phone somewhere in my pocket. Nigga just post on his. So, y'all don't even know how powerful I am. I understand how powerful I am, but I really don't know. Sometimes I feel like I really don't know who I am. I'm just going to be honest with y'all. Because, like, in, in, in my eyes... I'm just a little old Corey from New York Springs, Alabama. But I be seeing a lot of shit that I do, man. I be like, damn, that me, right? So yesterday- All right, this bra gotta come off. Dude had posted me, and I reposted this shit. You know what I'm saying? Show us some love. And look what he posted. Yeah. Dude posted, he said, everybody that y'all can see numbers on light, it wouldn't have been impossible uh, if it wasn't for Corey, life of Corey said G. So look, as y'all see, that's his regular views right there. 400 views, 300 views. So I put him on my page and I gave him 52,000 views, right? Now, I'm going to give y'all some game real quick. Y'all got to understand something right now. You understand something? I gave him 52,000 views. Do you know what you could do with 52,000 views? Let me do basic math for y'all. For a lot of y'all that don't understand how easy it is to make money, man. It's so easy to make money. Let's just say, man, you create a product or anything of that nature, right? Dead ass. And let's just say you got your product, you selling your product for $25, right? All right, so let's just say out of 50-some thousand people, what make you think that you can't convince at least 10,000 people, right, to buy your product at $25 and that's 250000 in your bank? It's not easy to make money. I'm, being, I'm just being under with y'all. It's so easy to make money, bro. It's just that simple. I can get you, you, you can make 250 k off just 10,000 people out of 52,000. If you feel like you can't do that, then it's just you. You actually send yourself back. See me, I, I, just, I do basic math with everything I do. When I, with everything that I say, everything I do, I, I don't go by the, the big numbers. I don't go by the millions. Man, I, give me 5,000 people, bro. Shit, I'll make that something. I dead ass will. Give me 1,000 people. Shit, I'll make that something. All right, so 1,000 people, shit. All right, so how the fuck, how the fuck can I sell a $50 product for $1,000? I mean, how, how can I sell a $50 product? Here's 5,000 people, mine 1,000. Two, two, two in the chat. And, and sell a $50 product? Oh, hell yeah, I gotta do that. This shit too easy, man. 
I do this shit. I don't hit my eyes closed at this point. Yeah, how you, uh, <laughs> you know, but I always try to motivate everybody and show y'all that y'all can do the same thing. What's up, my boy? Gonna get to it, ain't you? I'm about to get ready to roll, man. You know what I'm saying? You going to get it in? Yeah, I'm going there. Go do these hours. Go ahead, knock them out, bro. Keep yeah, going. Sure. I'll never forget what I told you, partner. What's up? I respect. I, I love it, brother. But you know what I'm saying? Your collabs are still $3,000. To be honest with you, yeah, I got my collabs very cheap. Let me tell you why, man, because I try to be for the people. Like, I value my time, so I'm not finna just do shit for free. But the thing is, I got my price set at a price that is so realistic. Because I can really be charged 10000 I really can charge 15000 Like, dead ass can charge that, you know what I'm saying? That's why I charge it to be a part of my team. Matter of fact, let me call Kobe real quick. I'm gonna call, my, I'm gonna call one of my... uh. One of my people real quick that's under my... I'm over here fucking these tacos up. <laughs> I'm going to show y'all something. Kobe was 19 years and he was 18 years old. Yeah, a lot of y'all probably know Kobe already, but for one that don't know him, I'm going to show y'all something real quick. Because a lot of niggas be hang. A lot of people be hang. I be sitting like, man, who going to pay you? Who going to pay you 15000 Who you think you is? Man, a little young nigga found me. And a young, young nigga emailed me. The young nigga said, man, I got... I, got, he, I told him, he said, he, he sent me a person. He said, man, how, how much it cost to be a part of that? He pointed at my shirt. Kobe, what you doing? My boy right now, Kobe. What's up, gang? Hey, so look, I'm on my live right now, right? I'm, I'm you know what I'm saying, giving out some game real quick. And, 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 and you came to my mind right quick. So look, real quick while you at work, I want you to tell them when you saw me, to get in the story on when you met me, how you met me real quick, what you did, and where you at right now, all right? You got me? Yeah, yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot. Nah, 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 nah. Make it quick, though. Make it quick. Like before that, you know, you were just never the motivation to me. So, uh, you know, I uh, tried to get in front of you and you know, told him what I got going on. And, and hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, huh? Take Do I take care of strangers? You take gifts from strangers. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, this is uh, called Suya. Suya. It's a spice brand, similar to the Creole seasoning from oh, Asian. Okay, then. Uh, yes, it is directly from Nigeria. My mother-in-law brought it, man. Really? My best friend's poured with a K in, in Frisco. Yeah. And decent fellow. Good with eggs, good with chicken. Thanks. Nice. Appreciate you, brother. I'm going to try it out. Love. Take care, man. Stay blessed. All right, so Kobe. Real quick. All right, what you were saying now, Kobe? Hold up, Kobe. Hold up, Kobe. Hold up, Kobe. This is a motherfucker. All right, what you were saying, Kobe? Yo, you got it? Yeah. Okay. All right. They said talk louder. They want to hear you. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Let me see in the car. Uh, what code are you talking about? I saw you online, and I was trying to get in front of you. told you Y'all, this shit right here good as hell. The sweet peachy tea. So, uh, you know, we had talked. You know, I, I had to make it happen. You told me, uh, no fixing tea. I came back later with it. And, you know, now we done run up over 200, bro. <laughs> and, Tell the phone, how old you here, Kobe? This shit nonstop, bro. 20 years old. 20 years old now, man. 20 years old, man. Bro, Corey, I got to show you the shop, bro. Hey, nah, hey, look, I'm going to come back. So much shit I, wanna I don't know what he's there. I know, brother. Look, I'll be back in Houston. I'll be back in Houston tonight, actually. But I gotta come back to Dallas. As soon as I get back down and I settle down, I'm come. I'm putting up on you. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna try to come spend a whole day with you and shit like that. All right? Yeah, that's what that is. So I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call you when I'm gonna call you when I get settled down. I just gotta go to Atlanta for an interview and shit. And soon I get back, I'm gonna spend a whole day with you. All right, bet I'm gonna call you. All right, my boy. Be safe. All right, you too, brother. All right, man. So yeah. So he he uh he do cause he do uh landscaping and all that type stuff right, so Kobe so I remember the day when I met Kobe right. Let me tell you the day I met Kobe it was uh two years ago. I was in my McLaren. I had just bought my fireworks stand. Y'all a lot of you didn't know I invested into my fireworks stand right. I had bought me a fireworks stand so it was it was approaching New Year's, and I was trying to find an area to, to, to uh, locate. So I had twin, my uncle them, boosted them, like looking for a location. And so I had found a little spot. And I had, I had put around, I, I seen, so look, I, I, I was driving and I seen him that he noticed me. I didn't know who he was, but he was, I seen his face. He was like, 
And so, I ain't gonna hold y'all. I didn't feel like being bald at the time. Then, then, cause I was trying to like, you know, to get my location. I was ripping around and blase, blase, blase. So I turned into this one spot trying to see that, could I put my flowers stand there? But it was like a one way in, one way out. And then when I pulled in, I turned around. Then I saw that he pulled in. I was like, fuck, I was like, fuck. He pulled in. I think I had somebody with me in the car. And um, he was like, man, bro, man. Man, you motivation, bro. You know what I'm saying? Man, he, he was like, man, I, I think I took a picture and all that, blase, blase. I was like, yeah, you feel what I'm saying? So I, took the, I stopped, talked to him, took a picture, and I hurried up and peeled off. And then, so my fire stand was right up the road. And he came back later on that day. He hopped out. He walked up to me. I can't. I never forget how he walked up to me. Bro walked up to me. He, he said, "Man, he was like, man, bro. He was like, I want to know where to take." And he pointed at my motherfucking chair, bro. Bro, take my chair, bro. I, I want to know where to. I want to know where to take to be a part of that right there, which was my SNG, my, my SNG logo. I looked out and say, "Man, I said you want to be a part of the team, bro. It gonna, it gonna cost you fifteen thousand, bro." He was like, "Feel." He was like, "Damn, fifteen k." I was like, "Yeah." And he was like, "Damn, what that consists of?" And I told him, "I was like, well, shit, you know what I'm saying, like." Put you on, put you a part of the team, and then you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna, of course, mentor you and give you a lot of knowledge and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? How to make, go farther. So, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna flex. Hey, go these pages again. Hold on, y'all. Let me block these down. Core Pritchard, uh, the corepritchard.com, man. Scam. Don't, don't, don't fall for the shit. For everybody that see it, let me, let me block this shit real quick. Report comment. I don't want to see it. All right, cool. All right, so look. So, boom. I swear to God. I, I, I thought he was going to be capping. Bro emailed me the next day. I gave him my email. He emailed me the next day, bro. If I go, damn, it's my other email. And he said I got the money. I thought he was capping, so I sent my number and everything. Bro came to my house, y'all, and brought that $15,000 to me. No bullshit, y'all, I swear. I was like, damn, bro, serious. And we came, you know what I'm saying, came to my house. The first thing we did was... Went in the backyard, we sat down, I gave bro a book. No bullshit, y'all. I said, huh? I gave him a couple books. I said, read these books right here. You know what I'm saying? Then I sat down, I picked his brain for a minute to see what his company was doing, like what all he needed. So I, had to, I, I gotta just evaluate what you do. And so I can, you know what I'm saying, see, okay, how am I gonna boost this, this company for him? But it made over $200,000 so far. You know what I'm saying? So off $15,000 he brought me, he done made over $200,000 already. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, that's why I don't trip because I understand how valuable I am. Like, people might talk crazy, but I know my worth. I know my value. And he ain't the, he ain't the first person. Shit, with A2 ass, I ain't even charge A2 to be a part of the team. Let me tell you why. Because he came through through Twin. And, and when Twin, Twin, Twin brought A2 to my crib, I was in the, I was in the house sitting down, bro. I was laying up playing with Kaden, my son. Dead ass, I, I was kind of like just chilling that day. Twin walked in, you feel me? And they know, they know I do not like when they bring people to my fucking house. And I didn't, I didn't tell them to bring them to my house. So Twin, so, so he was at, he knew he had to fucked up already. He, he was like, man, bro, he was like, man, bro, like, I brought my bro, bro. Like, listen, bro, he ain't, he ain't just no, no junkie, bro. Like, you feel me? Like, he, he on his shit, man. He just want the game, man. He want the knowledge right there. So I was like, low key. He irritated. No bullshit you. So, I'm sitting in my back though. I'm, I'm sitting in my living room. Y'all know I got my, my, I had the glass you know, to my back porch and everything. And I seen A2 just sitting out there. You feel me? He was like that bitch, you know what I'm saying? Just looking normal as hell. So, I couldn't get mad. He was just sitting there. You feel me? So, I was like, all right, bro. So, I just got up. I went outside. You know what I'm saying? I ain't know who the fuck the nigga was. I think I say, so what you want, bro? Hey. <laughs> I was like, so what you want, bro? I'll never forget how many ATC first conversation. She was like, man, bro, I'm motivated by you. I'm motivated by you, bro. You know what I'm saying? You inspire me, bro. Woo -woo. He was like, man, I'm just trying to get the game, man. I'm just trying to win. So by twin me and my brother, you feel me? I was like, all right. So he told me what he do and everything. I literally sat there, bro, for like an hour there and there. I gave that nigga some knowledge, bro. And I let him be a part of the team. You feel what I'm saying? Man, the first 30 days, that nigga showed me he made 200000 in the club. I couldn't do that, but just smile. Ear to ear, dog. I was so happy. And all my niggas, same with D-Dog. D-Dog, same, same way you see that. I ain't even charged D-Dog to be a part of the team. The reason I let D-Dog be a part of the team because, first of all, he from Alabama. You feel me? The young nigga from Alabama, he the first to do the trucking shit, you know what I'm saying, in the city. So, you know, I told him, I said, hey, if you could find your way up here, shit, we'll, we'll, we'll lock in. 
he had his moment to bring him all the way to Texas. No bullshit you. You feel me? And I, I saw that he was serious. So I put him on the team. You feel me? Turned him up. And it's like, man, everybody a part of my team right now, I tell y'all one thing about Corey SSG. That nigga ain't asked us for a dime. I don't ask my team for a dime. Y'all know everybody that's on the SSG? I don't get no percentage out of them or nothing, which I should, which I'm finna ask them to start doing, to be honest with you. But everybody that's already grandfathered in, they in, they good. But I'm finna start getting a percentage out of everybody now because it's like, like, bro, all my people, like my mentor, they're like, Corey, you gotta stop giving your, your knowledge away for free, bro. And I'm like, bro, you need, you need to be getting something back. And I was like, nah, I'm doing this shit from the heart. But I done put a lot of people on also that to turn their ass against me, man. So it's like, you know what? I don't feel like going through it no more. So I got to get my value out of whatever I put out. You feel what I'm saying? But, um, man. The realest shit I heard all day. So, you know, straight up. I got, I got still trend. Still, still from Birmingham. You feel me? She a part of the team. And to be honest with you, I haven't even 100% yet put the fire to their ass and shit. You know, I didn't collab with them and everything. I wanted to support them, but they haven't even got the file lit to them just yet because I've been dealing with a lot of shit. But right now, that's what, let me tell y'all some real shit. Like, I'm not perfect. My life ain't perfect. I go through my own problem, human, just like y'all. You know what I'm saying? So even though it looks so easy, like I just make shit happen, but it's like I go through my own problem, I have to handle my shit first. So throughout this whole year, man, last year, I just been dealing with a lot of shit. I ain't gonna hold you. So I haven't been able to like just beat up for a lot of my team members and they all understand that shit. So one thing I love about them, bro, everybody just still like here still grinding. The majority of my everybody that's on my team, they out here still doing their thing, they still grinding, you feel me? And they know I told them, I said, Y'all give me time, let me let me let me get a lot of shit handled on my life and then come back. We on green light, it's time to go. And it's finally happening, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm finally getting over a lot of the shit, a lot of shit can handle. You feel me? And we getting back in motion. But um, yeah, man, it's just I miss that in-house food. We've been eating out all week. Them tacos was busted. Take your life to the next level so quick, little you know it or not. 100%. You know, that's why I don't be worried about when people try to destroy my image and shit, try to put up my name, man. You can't destroy what God built. Somebody said, boy, you hurting and it's showing. I'm not. Why you, why you on my page? You don't even follow me. Look at these grown ass niggas. You see, they did the type of niggas that be on my page. Like, I be looking, I be looking at these niggas like, like, bro. Who who daddy this here, bro? What you even doing on TikTok? What you doing? Like these be the type of niggas that be on my page. Like, I be like, man, what the fuck wrong with these niggas, bro? They grown ass nigga. That man shirt by the size of his damn pants. That shit crazy. That boy shirt. Whoa, what the flying hell? Why you got this huge ass shirt on? I ain't gonna bro? lie, that shirt big as shit. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> that shirt big as fuck. <laughs> oh my god. Yo. Nah, but I be on Instagram. That bro. shirt Instagram big as hell. Cracking up. I be laughing at these people so goddamn hard, man. That nigga Troy Ives relieved from jail and come home to a Lamborghini and two million dollars in cash. Ooh. That nigga came home to two M's in cash. Okay. Yo, I like that. Support. Who did? Man, um, you know. Just wanna get on here, man. How long I been on live? For an hour and 18 minutes. I ain't what the hell be here? So we think ready to go. Shit. Yeah, I'm about, to, go about I'm about to end this. Uh y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Uh I have some more coming for you when he puts some more out. Love y'all. Bye.